guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure I have lipstick all over my teeth. So today's video is going to be my fall empties video. I am currently working on clearing out the office slash den slash beauty room, whatever you want to call this room. And this was literally overflowing to where I had like a pile of things next to the drawer. So it was time to do it. So that's what we're doing. If for some reason you've never watched one of these videos, this is basically me hoarding onto some of my beauty trash products I've used entirely all the way up so I can give you a full review on them. I love these videos because it's a way for me to tell you fully about a product. And I love watching these videos because you know the reviews are very like, there's like a strong opinion behind the review because they've used up the entire product. So. That's what we're gonna do today. I normally start with like home stuff, like oils and like cleaning stuff, candles, but today I'm gonna start with beauty just to switch it up. I know not everybody's into like the lifestyle stuff. Am I wearing earrings? Yes. <laughs> I know that not everybody's into the lifestyle stuff and like the oils, so I'm gonna leave those to the end and we're gonna do beauty first. Now we're just gonna really switch things up and we're gonna start with hair care. We're really going wild. So the first hair care item I used up is this, this is my favorite conditioner, the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Conditioner. Now, I have mentioned that I've, I've dealt with my entire life scalp issues. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily, necessarily dandruff, but I have some sort of skin situation happening on my scalp. Actually, today it's fine, but I've had it ever since I was a little girl. It can get dry and flaky and kind of like... I don't know, just irritated. And a lot of you guys, I mentioned that in some video, and a lot of you said to switch to a shampoo and conditioner that has no sulfates, I believe it was. And I feel like this definitely has sulfates. Maybe not in this, but in the shampoo. So I may have to look into using a different one. I do want to look into the Young Living shampoo and conditioner because I know it's like all natural and made of oils and all that crap. But um, I love this stuff so much and it's so affordable and it's just the best conditioner I've ever used. I have a lot of hair, but it's like, I always say I have thick hair, but the hair itself I would say is normal. Like it's not super thin or thick, but this doesn't weigh my hair down, which is like, a miracle for a conditioner because that's my main thing is they weigh it down and then it doesn't hold curl but this just like makes it light and bouncy it smells incredible I love the matching shampoo I still I mean I bought this again I'm reusing it in my shower currently and it takes me forever to go through them because I never wash my hair obviously <laughs> but yeah I love this and I used it up and along the same lines if you hear that noise I came prepared today and I brought my recycles bin I'm so smart because normally I just throw them on the ground and then I finish filming and I'm like, Amy, you've really done it. But today, I'm smart. Along the same lines, I also used up the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Spray. I don't know if heat protection sprays do a whole lot, but I always feel better if I use one. So I've been using this one. It matches the same scent as the same line as the um, shampoo and conditioner. It's affordable and for the most part, I think it works okay. It says it's a, oop, dropped it. <laughs> it says it's a heat protection shine spray. Um, I don't know about all that, but I do spray it on my hair before I curl it. Every time I curl it, even if I'm just touching up curls, I just really wanna make sure I'm not damaging my hair. I don't dr blow dry my hair, which I think does a whole lot of good for it, but I do curl it, not every day. I'd say I curl it about four out of the seven days of the week, touch-ups or a fresh curl. Yeah, I always try to use this just to be on the cautious side. I used one of my favorite dry shampoos. This is the Matrix Style Link Mineral Playback Dry Shampoo. That was a lot of words. I really, really like this. This isn't my number one favorite shampoo. My number one is the White Nirvana Elizabeth and James Shampoo. Let's say it together. I talk about it all the time. That one's really pricey. The travel size of that one is $14 and the big size is, I believe, over $30. i am not sure. I think this full size is $17, which is still kind of pricey, but like I'm so picky about dry shampoos because I really, I don't know, I feel like they can be too powdery and they can like get in your mouth and I'm just really picky about them and I love this one. So I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. Right now I'm living off of um, a travel size Batiste dry shampoo that I bought for Hawaii and it's running out and I'm like, oh my god, I have to go buy dry shampoo. So I'll probably buy this one. I'll keep you updated. I think there's only one more hair care product and it's something I did not care for, which the entire world loves, so I don't know. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Y'all, I just didn't love this. I bought the travel size for, I think, like $14, which was so much for a travel size, and I didn't love that, and then, but it was only like a two-time use, so I was like, 
maybe I need to use it some more. And then, then they sent me this and I used it up and I just, it does nothing for my hair. It doesn't, I, I number one, don't like it as a shampoo. I find the tub extremely hard to use in the shower. While I do like have a ledge, it's just like, you gotta take the top off, get it out of the way so water isn't getting in, you gotta scoop. I find that you really have to get like your hair, you have to like kind of put it on your head and then get it wet and then scrub. It's just not my cup of tea for shampoos. And on top of that, I don't really think it did anything for like my scalp dandruff issues. I am interested in trying more of their scalp revival line because I know they have a bunch of stuff and everybody loves it. Like they have a dry shampoo, they have an oil that I might be into. So let me, just let me know what you think. I know I'm in the minority of not liking the shampoo. I've mentioned it before and some of you are like, yeah, I hated it too. But as far as watching people on YouTube, everybody loves this stuff, but it's so expensive for a shampoo and it did nothing for me. So I'm not going to buy that again. Now moving on to body care, we're gonna go completely backwards. <laughs> I have a shower gel, um, nothing special about the shower gel. This is a Philosophy Gr Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. I did love it and I love the Philosophy shower gels. They're very moisturizing. You can use them as a shampoo, bath, or a shower gel. I've just always used them as shower gels. They have some really good smelling Christmas scents. This one was really nice for the spring, that smells so good. And every time I go to like Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they always have Philosophy um, shower gels, so check there. But I do love these. I used up one of my favorite shaving creams, shave gel. This is the Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream Shave in Honey Mango. This is like, I believe, three or four bucks. It is the best shave gel I've ever used in my entire life. I just recently bought a Lush shave gel because I loved the scent of it, and I'll talk about that more as I use it more. But already off the bat, it is nothing compared to this one, which that other one is like triple the price. So, I, you guys, I love this. And it's great for you. It's paraben-free, vegetarian has aloe vera and vitamin E. I trust Trader Joe's with the um, with the ingredients in their products. And just mainly, it's just so moisturizing and it smells so good and it makes me wanna shave. I always say that, which like beforehand, it's like, what? Cause who wants to shave? That's no fun, but this stuff is great. Only a few body favorites. I used up an entire thing of my Bath & Body Works Moonlight Path Fine Fragrance Mist. I talk about this all the time. I've used this every day since seventh grade. It is my signature scent. Ask any of my friends. And yeah, and this was actually my last bottle, so I had to go to Bath & Body Works, and due to an amazing coupon slash their buy three, get two free, I got five of these for the price of two. And I like walked out of there like, yes. Cause I always stock up on these because like I literally go through them like crack. And well, I used to go to Bath & Body Works all the time for candles, but I don't go there as much anymore. I do need to go buy some vanilla bead Noel candles. I usually try and just like stock up on one trip. So I got five of these for the price of two and I was proud of myself. And then I believe the last body favorite is this Clinical Care Skin Solutions Sun Shield Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. This. I, I talked about in my last favorites video, I'll link up in the corner. My new favorite sunscreen is the Sunbum sunscreen line. I still think I like this better. This is a little more hard to get your hands on and more expensive, but it is the best sunscreen I have ever used. It like I'm I've talked I talked about sunscreen a lot in that favorites video. But like, I can be very picky about the way it feels, the way it smells. Just being in the sun all day and then sweating and then the way your sunscreen reacts to that just le just affects your mood. And this doesn't smell bad, didn't leave me sticky, but protected my skin. And I love it. It's only an SPF 30, which at first I was kind of iffy on, but I never had an issue with this. I remember this was the only sunscreen I took with me to Tokyo and we went to Japan and it was summer and it was very hot and I never got burnt. I was hoping to take this with me to Hawaii, but I ran out of it before then and then I didn't have time to order more. So I definitely want to order more. I love it. Um, so I will link it down below. It's not talked about a ton here on my channel, but my later alligator cream from this, from this line is like my hands down favorite moisturizer and Bradley's is well and I love this so yeah now moving on to skincare of thy face and then we'll do makeup then we'll do oils then we'll do candles and then we'll do cleaning products we still have a long ways to go I better get cracking oh I used up two of these my simple moisturizing facial wash I love this stuff I talk about it in every empties video but I use this to take off my makeup alone I use this on the Clarisonic to give my skin an extra cleanse to take off makeup I use this in the morning as a morning cleanse it's just the best it gets all your mascara off it moisturizes your skin it's cheap it's the best I've used up to. Along the same vein, I used up the Simple Micellar um, makeup wipes. I, the Simple Makeup Wipes are my favorite brand of makeup wipes. They're just very effective and 
cheap and I believe like I went somewhere one day and they were out of the other simple makeup wipes so I picked up these pretty much the same thing I'd say but I love the simple makeup wipes I used up my proactive renewing cleanser I have mentioned all the time that I used to be on the proactive three-step system I've weaned myself off of that because if you don't know your skin does get addicted to proactive I don't think I would need need this anymore but I do think it severely helps with like my hormonal breakouts along my chin and I just genuinely love it it has a very small granule situation that like gives your skin a very light exfoliant but I really feel like I can feel the skin getting clean with this stuff and I love it and I just ordered it on Amazon I can link it down below but I truly love that stuff and this is um proactive is using benzoyl peroxide which my skin likes better than salicylic acid so yeah. I used up my favorite toner. This is the Lush Tea Tree Water Toner. I talk about this all the time. You're probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but my skin really reacts well to tea tree oil, and this I just use morning and night. It is my favorite. I definitely need to repurchase it. I used up my favorite eye cream. This is the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. Sometimes I can find it online for $8 and under, but normally it's like around $16, $17 bucks at like Target. It is incredible. It's so moisturizing. I don't trust anything else on my eyes. Like like, I try other eye creams and I just miss this one, so I'm really, like, hesitant to try new ones. It smells great. It, I don't know any, it says it firms. I don't really know anything about that, but it's definitely moisturizing because my eyes can get so dry. Like, my eye skin, not my eyeballs, but those can get dry too. <laughs> but I just, I love this so much. We have some of my repetitive empties, I apologize. Well, this one's not repetitive, and I really liked these. This is the Trader Joe's Spa Natural Facial Cleansing Pads with Tea Tree Oil. I love these. Um, I will definitely pick these up again. They're kind of like the, um, I don't remember what brand they were, Neutrogena pads or something? The blackhead pads. So they're just like basically round cotton soaked in tea tree oil or whatever it is and you peel one out and you just cleanse your skin with it. I would use this like after a shower or after washing my face, getting all my makeup off and then I would put the, I would use this before I would put on my toner. And a lot of the times you could see a lot of like extra dirt or makeup it's getting off. But what I mainly love, oh, I want to use one right now. <laughs> what I mainly love about it is that it, you can feel it tingling your skin and it just feels like it's getting it so clean going deep into your pores. And like I said, my skin loves tea tree oil, so I'm always down. I will definitely be repurchasing these. We need to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow, so I'll be picking this up. And I just, I love it so much. I, me and Bradley used up my favorite, one of my favorite, actually no, this is probably my hands down favorite face, second favorite face mask. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> but this is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Detox in Brighton Mask mask. <laughs> I'm actually filming this at night. Did you tell, could you tell that before I said that? The day got away from me, but I still really wanted to film a couple videos, and luckily with all these lights, you hopefully didn't even notice that it was nighttime. But that being said, it's the end of the day, and my words are no longer working. Not that they ever were, let's be real. But I love this stuff. Um, I am going to film right after this my pre-wedding beauty must-haves. I don't know which order things are going up in, but I am fil planning on filming that today. Or tonight rather and this was certainly one of them me and Bradley used this like twice a week for like a month leading up to our wedding it just is a very effective mask at like clearing up our skin it's one of those masks that is clay it dries down and it like brings all the oil to the surface of your skin it's so satisfying and just really helps clear up my problem areas like my chin so if I was having a bad week or my skin was just breaking out I'd slap this on and within a couple of days it really starts to fade and it helps with blackheads, like helps keep your nose clear. Oh, just took a chunk out of my lipstick. And it's just absolutely the best. And at Target, it's $10. So you can't beat it. And it's Bradley's favorites too. I love this stuff, but it's so expensive. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. So it's Hollywood's two minute facial. I really think that this helps clear up my skin and makes it look so glowy and vibrant. I think they sent this to me. They sent me like a package of some of their exfoliate items. I'm currently using the Exfoliate Cleanser, which I'll talk about at a later time, but I don't think I love it. I think it's drying out my skin. But this, I can use every day. My skin loves it. It's just the best. It has like pineapple and papaya enzymes in it, and you basically just like treat it like an exfoliant, put it all over your skin, leave it for two minutes, wash your body, wash out your conditioner, whatever, and then you rinse it. It's like a two-minute facial in the shower. <sighs> It is the best, but this tiny ass size is $18. The full size is $80. And if I had the means for it, I would regularly purchase this because it does wonders for my skin. I love Kate Somerville. I, I've hardly 
quickly found a product that doesn't work. Because even though I'm not loving that Kate Somerville um, cleanser because it's making my skin dry, my skin still looks amazing right when I get out of the shower. So it's kind of like, you know, pros and cons. <laughs> but the con of dry skin outweighs everything else. But as well, my point is that Kate Somerville rarely steers me wrong. And I love this stuff so much and I wish I could afford it on a regular basis, but I can't. By the way, I'm wearing my Honeymooner shirt which I'm technically not a honeymooner anymore, but the shirt is so soft that I'm just wearing it. Okay, I have two more skincare favorites and then a few makeup favorites. I used up my favorite face oil. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend, another one of my pre-wedding beauty staples. I love this. I'm currently using this every other night. I will talk about what I'm using in a minute on the other off nights, it's confusing. But every other night I will douse my skin in this right before bed and I swear I wake up looking plumper. My skin still feels moisturized, but not too greasy. This is my favorite face oil I've ever tried. It's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive. It's 24 bucks at Target, which I don't think is too bad. And it's super accessible at Target as well. It smells like rose, but it also smells very citrusy. And it just is, it's the best. I rarely go a day without this. I make sure I have another one before I run out because I love it. And the last skincare favorite, which I think this is my last one ever because I can't find it on Sephora's website. I can never find it in their store. Well, I haven't like tried recently. The last time I tried to find it, it wasn't there. And I've been hearing for years that they discontinued this, but this is the Christian Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm. It is completely used up. I love it. It is a $30 lip balm, but completely worth the price in my opinion. I will put this on at night and I will wake up and it will still be there. And my lips just feel so great, so moisturized. And I just love it and I'm really sad if it really is discontinued because it's the best. So if you have any recommendations that are similar to this, please let me know, but sad times. Okay, I have a few, they all fell down, makeup bits. The first is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. You guys know I love this stuff. It's been a while since I've been out of it. I've been using in place of it, oh my mac prep and prime fix plus this is in the rose scent i do love this stuff because it's very multi-purpose i can use it before my makeup for extra hydration i can use it on my beauty blender to um as i apply my foundation to make things look more dewy and just fresh i can use it as a makeup setting spray i can use it on an eyeshadow brush with an eyeshadow to make it look more foiled that's what i did today which i don't even know if you can tell these lights are washing mama out but overall my favorite setting sp or uh, primer spray is this one i love it and I know it seems kind of gimmicky, but I truly honestly believe that it's adding more hydration to my skin and giving a nice base for the rest of my makeup. And I, I do always go in with another primer, but I'm somebody who loves primers. I love extra hydration. I love anything tacky to like help my makeup stay in place. And I love the idea of barriers in between my makeup and my skin. So um, I love this. I'll definitely be repurchasing this. I believe it's $30 even, which I think it's completely worth it. And it takes you a while to go through it. So I would highly recommend this. I love it. I have a mascara and a um, brow thing. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I do love this. Oh, I was trying to like twist it up to show you, but it's completely gone. This one had more of a triangular tip, which I really enjoyed. However, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, this has completely replaced my favorite brow pencil. While I still love the Anastasia one, and I think they're around the same price, and maybe even the Benefit one is more expensive, I am obsessed and loving this brow pencil. I mentioned it in a favorites at some point. It will definitely be in my yearly favorites, but it's kind of the same situation. It's got like the same triangular shape, but I love it. In, in Anastasia, I wear the shade taupe. I do believe that my makeup artist used this on me on my wedding day, which is a fun fact, but I just, I loved it and I would highly recommend it. Just because I love the Benefit one more doesn't mean that I still don't love this one. I think it's great and would recommend it to you. I used up one of my favorite, well, my favorite mascara. This is the CoverGirl clump crusher mascara i always get the shade black brown and i love it i love it on its own i love to layer it with my roller lash mascara by benefit i talk about this all the time but as far as just like mascaras go people pay so much money for mascara but you don't have to this one is the best just trust me try it and one last i guess makeup or skincare i use up my nyx this is everything lip oil this is my freaking favorite thing in the world i have like three backups in my little lip drawers back there i have another one in my everyday makeup drawer right now i put this on 70 times a day it's the best, it is $6, and just like the greatest lip product ever. Trust me, buy it. I'll link it down below. Okay, 
that is all the beauty stuff. I'm going to get into oils. I don't really have that many, which like, I think I had more, but let me tell you something. I am like all about the oils life. I follow a bunch of Instagrams about it and I saw somebody suggest to take a jar of Epsom salt, take your empty oils, take the top off. Is anything gonna come out of this? No, it's empty. <laughs> stick it like open into the Epsom salt and it will drag out all of the leftover oils and you will have scented Epsom salt for your bath. So I did that with a bunch of my leftover oils. It was mainly citrus freshes, lavenders. I think there was a couple stress aways in there. Oh yeah, well, I did this one, which you can kind of see the salt all over. Some Valors, I think a grapefruit was in there, just some random oils. And my jar of Epsom salt now smells incredible. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna take a bath tonight actually after I'm done filming. But anywho, but that is a fantastic way to like make even more of your empty oils bottles because while it's hard to get out of there, sometimes there is still more essence in there. So I used, I have four, five, <laughs> can't count. Oils empties I'm going to quickly go through. I have the grapefruit oil. This has quickly become, I think, in my top five. Currently, I'm loving this more than orange oil, which I don't, wouldn't normally say. It's partially because I have citrus fresh, which I cannot believe. There's no way I didn't use up a citrus fresh since the last month, so I threw it out and forgot to put it in here. But citrus fresh is Young Living's blend of all the citruses and a little bit of spearmint, and it's literally heavenly. So I prefer diffusing that over orange these days. But grapefruit, just like, if you smelled a grapefruit, you know what it smells like. It's just so, such a nice, like, citrus, spicy scent. Like, oh, it just, it translates so well. And I like to mix it in the diffuser with pine, and it just smells literally heavenly. So, grapefruit has become one of my favorite oils. I also used up Stress Away. This is my number three favorite oil, and it is a blend. It's got balsam, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, oco tea, lavender, and that's it. To me, it smells like a margarita. That's what Bradley calls it as well, the margarita oil. <laughs> but it really just smells like vacation. It smells, I don't even know how to describe it. It just like, like even right now I have a headache and smelling this is just taking my headache away. <laughs> I have a headache because of these freaking lights. Oh my God, I cannot get enough of this. I got addicted to this over my 4th of July vacation. I wore it as perfume every day. I diffused it 24 seven and it's just my number three oil. It's the best. I used up a Valor, which this is probably, <laughs> I'm like, I like how I'm giving you the breakdown on my favorite oil. I'm gonna stop doing that because I don't freaking know, but I love Valor and I also stuck this one in the um, Epsom salts as well. This is a very expensive oil. This tiny 5 ml bottle is $40, but completely worth it. I actually have it diffusing behind you, behind the camera in this room right now because I repurchased it. This one has black spruce, camphor, blue tansy, frankincense, and geranium. It's very floral. I always say if you like, um, like lavender scents, floral scents, this one is amazing. It's kind of like a I, I don't even, I don't know how to describe this besides incredible. They call it an emotional support oil. So when I go to the dentist, I wear this. If I'm on a plane flight, I wear this. Oh, speaking of plane flights, hold the phone. Usually when I go on airplanes, I am a mess and I either take anxiety medication or Dramamine because I do get motion sickness on planes as well. And Dramamine also kind of like, it definitely makes you feel drowsy. So when we were in Hawaii, island hopping from Oahu to Maui, of course like a much more laid back, like I'm terrible on travel day. Like I'm, it's something I've worked on my entire life. I'm just awful on travel day. I think Bradley will tell you I've gotten a little better, but I, uh, it's not my favorite thing to do. And it's not even the act of flying. I don't enjoy being trapped on a plane. Let's not talk about it too much because I will die. But knowing that the flight was literally only like 30 to 40 minutes, I didn't want to drug myself at all because I wanted to land and be fresh and be ready to go. So I basically snipped my stress away that I have an itch in my nose. I'm not picking it. I basically was sniffing my stress away that entire flight and I, people around me were probably like, what is her problem? But I was like, and I was listening to Breathe In in my ears by Ariana Grande. Just keep breathing, 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 breathing. There's a visual for you. Me on an airplane with my headphones on listening to Breathe In on repeat, sniffing my stress away for 30 minutes straight and it helped calm me down. <laughs> But I was like so proud of myself after that. I was like, Amy, you did it. You survived it. It wasn't great. You didn't thrive, but you survived. But another good bravery oil is Valor. So yeah, like I said, last time I went to the dentist, I wore this. I don't like the dentist either. I wear this on planes. Just anytime I'm nervous, slap this guy on. But also I just love to diffuse it. I really like to diffuse it in the bedroom as well. It has a nice bright yet calming vibe and I'm really into it. I used up a Thieves Oil. This is Young Living's like immunity blend, cleaning blend. It's supposed to be really great for your immune system. This one has clove, lemon, cinnamon, 
eucalyptus and rosemary if you can hear my neighbors they're like really loud right now guys chill but this comes in the starter kit and when i first got it i didn't love it i smelled it and i was like that smells like onions and even still it like a little bit smells like onions to me i don't know why especially this batch i ordered a new bottle and i swear it smells less like onions maybe this one was more concentrated in like the rosemary or something i don't freaking know but this scent overpowers anything so i've been keeping it in the kitchen and i've talked about this a couple of times i apologize if you've already heard it and you can diffuse this it smells great in the diffuser it smells very fall like because of the cinnamon but like if the trash can is smelling for some reason i will take a paper towel put a couple drops of this and just throw it in the trash can and it just like literally overpowers everything you know how sometimes you open your trash can and you're like whoa there's not even anything in there it just smells bad this fix is that. I put a couple drops in the dishwasher to make it smell nice and fresh. I will put it down the garbage disposal if that's smelling kind of icky and gross. It just is the fix-all oil right now and I just I ordered it again this last month. Which if you are into the oils life I did create a separate oils account. I was starting to get like a little self-conscious posting about it on my Instagram stories because I do get hate about it which I don't understand. If you're not into it then just swipe along you know what I mean but this way I could post everything I want without feeling self-conscious and those who are into it can come follow it and those who aren't who aren't can't don't okay but I actually just filmed today on there a haul of my essential rewards order and I did pick up a full bottle of thieves so I'm excited to have that and you guys this is my favorite I've talked about it in like six videos but I swear it has cleared up my skin it is making my skin better but frankincense oil I use this every this is the product I was talking about that I use every other night in conjunction with the rose pixie oil pixie rose oil I said that backwards <laughs> but I will take my later alligator cream from clinical care skin solutions I also mentioned that earlier in this video I will take two drops of this rub it together and go to town on my face and it just feels incredible it makes my skin look like moisturized and healthy and bright and it just feels good and it tingles a little bit I want to contribute my clear wedding skin to this because I used it consistently for the month leading up to the wedding and I'll talk about this more in that wedding beauty video um, but I just I love this I know it's pricey but I think it's fully worth it and I will spend the money on it because my skin is worth it I think <laughs> but okay that's it for oils now moving on to like home stuff I do have a couple of candles first up of course I have my Yankee Spice pumpkin candle I am using less and less candles with being in the oils life now um, but when it comes to fall and Christmas candles there's a few candles I can't resist and Yankee's pumpkin spice is one of them I actually sometimes burn the candles while diffusing oils and let me tell you diffusing stress away while burning a pumpkin spice candle is incredible I would highly recommend that as a weird cocktail I know that like the point of oils is to try and steer from candles and for the most part I have been which has been great because I'm spending way less money on candles but again this Yankee spice pumpkin candle is my favorite the Yankee candle Christmas Eve candles another favorite so I'm not going to deprive myself of those, but the rest of the year I am working on cutting candles. Just because, you know, I've read the things about the toxins you breathe in. It's basically secondhand smoke, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but the spice pumpkin, I have to have it. <laughs> a little bit of a healthier candle. This is from Trader Joe's. This is the mango tangerine scented candle. I believe this is soy. Yeah, a natural coconut soy wax. I completely burned this up. Well, we did. Uh, we loved this candle. It's a very nice size. They had a couple fall scents in which I believe I believe we filmed a Trader Joe's haul. If that's up, I will link it up in the corner. So we have the vanilla pumpkin one in the bathroom now. It's not as good as this one. This one was really, really good. Uh, mango tangerine. I don't know if I already said that. It just packed a lot of punch for a really small soy candle. I just loved it. And we keep these in the bathroom. I think they're the perfect like size for a bathroom candle to cut through the poop scent. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I have a couple cleaning sprays. Um, I feel like I talk about these all the time, so I'm so sorry. But I have the Method All Purpose Naturally Derived Honeycrisp Apple Cleaner. It says cuts grease and grease. I would agree with that. I used this in the kitchen. I do need to try the Young Living Thieves cleaner. A lot of you leave that comment on all my cleaning videos and I do need to try it. I just need a glass bottle because you can't mix it in with a plastic bottle. But these are really, really great. More on the natural side, a little bit better for you. Doesn't have super intense cleaning smells that give you a headache while you're cleaning. So I really enjoy them and they work. They work really great. They have a lot of nice different scents. And then for the bathroom, I love this Method Anti-Back Wildflower All-Purpose Cleaner. I use this everywhere in the bathroom. The countertops, the toilet, the bathtub, the shower. I just love it. Speaking of the bathtub and shower, this is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Baking Soda Cream Cleaner. This is basically just like, you see the DIYs of making a baking soda cream cleanser, but they've done it for you. It's a lemon verbena scent, which is one of their popular scents. It smells incredible. Oh, it smells so good. And it's really, really affordable. So if you're not the DIY type of person and you're just like, eh, I'm just cleaning, let me just squirt it into the sink, this would be great. I believe it's around $3. I will link it down below. It's great for like your kitchen sink, your stainless 
the steel, you kind of just squirt it everywhere, rub it with a sponge, rinse it to dry, and then dry it off with a paper towel, and it leaves things really shiny. I love this for the bathtub, I love it for the shower. It's just like, it's a very multi-purpose cleaning product, but for the most part, I use it in the tub and the kitchen sink, so love it. I already repurchased that. And then I have a couple more Mrs. Myers products. This is the Mrs. Myers Apple Cider Dish Soap. I believe you can still get this right now, so I'll try and link it down below, but it is a limited edition scent for the fall. This was my first Mrs. Myers dish soap that I ever tried. It was in my last favorites video because I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend it. So even if you can't get your hands on this scent, I just liked their dish soaps in general. Not as much as I like my Trader Joe's dish soap, but this was great. And then we used up, of course, a hand soap. This is the Mrs. Myers Lilac Hand Soap. I talk about these hand soaps all the time. They're just my favorite. We just always buy the different new scents. I just got the peppermint and the pine scent for Christmas and I'm excited to use those. We're still using up the pine pineapple, the pumpkin one for Halloween or for the fall in the kitchen. Always have one of these in the bathroom and at the kitchen sink because they're my favorite. But whoa, we are done. I feel like I just talked to you for an hour. But yeah, guys, that is it. I hope that was a really loud clap. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always enjoy doing empties videos. If you want to see more, I will link my empties playlist up in the corner. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you enjoyed. I hope I'll see you soon. I'll have my little face. You can subscribe and some videos you can click and watch if you'd like to. But other than that, I will see you next time. I hope you're having a great day. I love you and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.